don't see myself moving too quickly now. Hi everybody, my name is Shailen. <laughs> I make these videos every Wednesday. This Wednesday we are on our way to Burning Man <laughs> in Mizzle's bus. We've got playa gifts being made. We've got costumes being made. We've got a uh, new discount hats being worn. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. Typically every Wednesday. So as some of you have let me know, I have missed the past two weeks, and but it's for good reason. I was out in the middle of the desert for 17 days. I was at Burning Man. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, please like, please share this with anybody that you might think that you think might enjoy it. Burning Man is truly not something that you can really describe unless you've actually been there, but I'm gonna try. Cause that's what I do. I'm gonna try to make you understand what it's like, kinda. So I got there a week early to build camp. We built 32 yurts. 32 yurts. It took a couple days to build all these yurts, and I have, I think I've got a clip of us building them. I'm gonna show you the yurt building process. Here's the roof that we've already built. Just put a tarp down. We're gonna take this uh, panel here, make it into a hexagon. Then we're gonna tape the inside of the yurt. It's an insane process. I love being there the week before everything happens because you get to see the city build. Black Rock City is the name of the city when it's there. And when Burning Man is going on, it is the, it's like the third largest city in Nevada. There's like 70,000 people that are there, which blows my mind. It's in the shape of a clock, very mapped out, five o'clock in D. In this giant clock, there's this huge sliver that's called Deep Playa, and that's where all the art is. So Burning Man's an art festival, and there's these, there's art out there that you can go see, and it's, Huge. So this whole clock, maybe side to side, is like two or three miles long, so you definitely need a bike. At nighttime, you need neon lights to light up your bike so that you don't get ran over by an art car, which is another thing that's out there. Cars that are really well lit and they're art themselves, but they can go like five miles an hour. I drove them last year, I drove them a couple times this year. It's just, it's an insane place. If you are a virgin to Burning Man, they say welcome home when you first arrive and then they make you roll around in the dirt. Roll in the dirt is perfect because all the new people are like, oh I got dirt on my pants. And I was like this last year. And when they just make you do a snow angel or a sand angel in the sand, you get over that real quick. There's no money exchange. You go to these bars that are set up and you're like, I'll have a beer. And you bring your cup and your ID. They ID you, which is kind of strange. Day one, one beer here, one beer there. We go to the third beer spot. And they're like, well, we're not quite open yet, but there's some habanero vodka if you want to try that. Yeah, I like spicy, that's cool. The four of us cheers, shoot this habanero vodka, and immediately we're all like, Whoa, like, this is really strong. And my stomach just turns, and I'm like, I think I might vomit. Another principle is leave no trace. So you're not even allowed to pee on the playa. So I'm like, where am I gonna vomit? So they give me this bucket and I'm literally sweating. I think I'm going to die. I'm like, my sister's gonna be so mad at me. Just vomited into this bucket. I, I took my own puke bucket and put it in the, in the Porta John or the Biffy. Your own puke is less disgusting than someone else's. So that maybe set the tone, put a little bad taste in my mouth pun intended. For the rest of the week, I was kind of a grandma and I was kind of a no girl. And before I ever went to Burning Man, people said you can do all the drugs and have a great time or you can be sober and have a great time. And I'm not really a drug kind of person, so I was like, all right, good. I don't know, I just didn't want to do anything. Like I was, do you want to go for a bike ride? No. Do you want to go check out this pasty making workshop? No. I just wanted to sit in my ear and like sleep. I was tired. So that's what I did. And one time I went out and I was like, I'm gonna go check out the art in Deep Playa. Some guy was like, oh, where are you going? What's it? And I was just like, I don't really wanna talk right now. I just wanna bike by myself. But I was friendly, it was fine. All right, what else? No money exchange out there except for coffee and ice. But even for that, people leave money for other people to be able to go get coffee. People are so great. So those are the things that I love. I love that there's leave no trace and picking up moop matter out of place. No money, so it's all gifting and everybody's very gifting and open. And then there's the Burning Man and the Temple. And there's lots of art things that burn, but those are like the two big things. So the Burning Man, the second to last day, is a huge party and it's like, yeah, the man's burning, this is awesome, let's all party, loud music, art cars, people, everything is going on. 
the temple you go into during the week and it's got this serious energy around it, which sounds super Burning Man and hippie, but it's true. You put something in the temple that you need to let go of. So I've seen dreads in the temple, I've seen pictures of family members that have passed, friends that have passed, people crying, and there's just, it's like a memorial. And then the last day, they burn the temple, and it is silent. There are tens of thousands of people there, and it's silent. Nobody's saying anything. People are crying and like it's very somber and just, it's super, super intense to just watch this whole thing go up in flames and everyone's there just feeling so much and you're all in it together kind of. And that's what I love about Burning Man. Obviously anything is that scales, anything that gets bigger, it's hard to maintain that foundation. Burning Man started in like, 86. Once the festival was over, we all tore down and we're tearing down for like three days and we always stop for sunset. Even if you're working, sunset's like take a moment, enjoy the sunset, you're in the middle of the desert, it's incredible. And we're on like the last thing, which is demooping, which literally means you like take a rake and pick up all the sequences and glitter and all the things that are in the sand that aren't supposed to be there because it's leave no trace. All of a sudden we're like, all right guys, there's a sandstorm coming. We're about to be in the middle of a dust storm. We're like white out. We're in the middle, we're in this trailer. There's a let up in the sandstorm. I need to walk like maybe 50 yards to the next camp to get there. And as we're walking there, white out. So we need to get from like here to here, right? We ended up way over here. I have no goggles on, no mask on. I'm with one person. I don't know where camp is. I start to freak out. And when you're freaking out, then you're breathing in more dust and you can't breathe and you don't really know what to do. And you, lying down isn't gonna help and moving isn't gonna help and it's just, you don't know how long it's gonna last. Brett, Harry, anybody? So this car starts honking. It's the Porta Johns that had just been cleaned out, these guys in the semi. And Johnny Boy was like, let's go, let's just go find the camp. And I'm like, you don't know which way it is. I don't wanna just walk into the abyss of nothing. So for like a second, the sand let up just a little bit and all of a sudden I saw camp started sprinting to the thing, like breathing in more dust, like knocked on the window and I was like, let me in. They were like, what? Why are you all full of dust? I got a lot of stuff there. Everybody wants to know, is there drugs? Is there nudity? Did the man really run into the fire? Like, all those things are true. Everything that you could think of is true out there. Yes, you record. This is an art car. Everyone's in their tutus, because it's Tutu Tuesday. All the things are out there, including yoga classes, meditation, TED Talks. You can kind of do with it what you want and get out of it whatever you want. If you guys have questions, I'll comment on the questions below. Just send me a question and I'll answer it. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, please like, please share this with anybody that you think might enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for sure. For sure I'll see you next week. Bye. There's so much to tell.